Hey folks, a little bit of an upper air disturbance getting mixed into the flow tonight and bringing some showers to parts of the valley. You can see right now we've got some uh, showers, some pretty good rain right around Monte Alto down just to the north of Elsa. Not much lightning in that, in fact, none at all. And then scattered stuff around Willacy County, some more down in the northern Cameron County. None of this is particularly heavy. There's a brief downpour and then some brief gusty winds, but that's about it. But again, nothing particularly strong. This started with this cell that was over in Mexico earlier tonight. That faded away before making it to the river. But then we saw the line show up right down the middle of Hidalgo County. It went from nothing to something in about 15 minutes. And then it, the first one died. Watch that one. It just fades away. Then another one forms in the same place. And we've got this disturbance kind of working its way through. And some of the models suggest that we could see some more rain before the night's over with. Now, this is satellite and radar. Some ground clutter showing up on here. But watch how we go from a clear sky to when this thing blows up. Here come all the high clouds, and then rain comes from underneath those high clouds. Future track, a little aggressive early. We don't have this much rain out there, but watch what happens as we go during the, the overnight hours. This model suggests that by 2 o'clock in the morning, we've got more rain coming from the west and moving across the valley. By 5 a.m., it's getting close to the coast, and then it's gone. That's the most aggressive of all the models. Most of the rest of them say what you see now is what you get. So I think there's a potential for scattered stuff overnight tonight, but I don't know that it's all that widespread. Most of tomorrow is dry, but then look at tomorrow night. We zoom out. This is now Friday morning at 9 o'clock. The suggestion is that this stuff all forms up north of San Antonio during the daytime Thursday and then spends all night Thursday night moving southward and by dawn and after on Friday morning that's getting close to the valley. Now we still may have a cap in place that inversion that keeps that stuff from moving in but we've got to watch because there's potential for strong stuff in here so something we're going to keep an eye on going 20 30 40 your rain chances in the next three days and I think by the time we get into uh, late Thursday night and again on Friday, there's potential for some of those storms to be strong. So this is one we're going to have to watch and see how things are going to play out. We're confident there'll be bad weather north of us. The question is how much of it will get here. As always, we're on the south edge looking up at it once again, but every once in a while, one of those sweeps into here. Look at these temperatures. Even at 10 o'clock at night, it's still 80 plus in most of the valley. We're not going to cool any more than the upper 70s tonight and then tomorrow back up to 90 plus in the west again for highs. South southeasterly winds continue at 15 to 20. 25. Normal highs 88 will be above that the next three days, but if there's rain, then temp obviously temperatures will cool off at least briefly. Rest of Texas tonight, warm soupy air spreading northward, 78 in Austin, 73 in Abilene. Look at the thunderstorms tonight in North Texas. Again, stretching from well west of Dallas, right kind of up and around the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and then off to the east from there, all kinds of warnings in effect in that part of the state tonight. That's where all the big bad weather is in Texas tonight. We've got the isolated stuff down down here. So your first one five active with the forecast tonight. Cloudy, breezy, hazy. The chance for a shower, thunderstorm, at least in a few spots. I don't think we see anything severe, but a little rumble of thunder, a little lightning, not much, but a little bit. And then tomorrow, again, some afternoon sunshine, breezy, hazy, humid. We'll see if anything flares up early in the morning. And then I think tomorrow night and Friday, and then again Friday night and Saturday, a couple of chances for showers and thunderstorms in there. And then it holds into Sunday. I think there's still a chance of rain on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday as well, although the chance tapers off. That's your updated first one five actually the forecast.